So here in your comfortable seat, we'll just take a moment to arrive, maybe a couple of deep breaths here. Then an invitation to drop ear to shoulder. Maybe feeling some sensation through the side of your neck and coming center and dropping ear to shoulder opposite side. An option to flow through side to side, tilting ear to shoulder. Maybe waking up through the neck and the tops of the shoulders a little bit here. Moving at a pace that feels comfortable for your neck and shoulders today. Maybe one more tilt side to side. And bringing head center. Option to roll through the shoulders. So maybe forward and up and then back and down. And forward and up, back and down. You might even bring hands toward the shoulders and circle through the elbows to add some movement through the shoulders and the shoulder blades. We just a few more circles here. Three. And two. And one more and finding some stillness you're welcome to take a lean to one side maybe dropping a hand or elbow toward the earth or the side of your chair that opposite arm can come up and over and back to center and maybe leaning the other way waking up through the side body the length of the torso and then a choice here to pause on either side or alternate moving with some flow side to side for a few more moments here a little waking up through the muscles of the spine maybe stretching into some muscles of the shoulder and back with the smith dorsi some of the deltoid muscles and back there And evening things out, right and left sides. As you're ready, finding some stillness. I'm turning to one side just so you might see a little better what I'm doing with my spine, but bringing my hands for some support on the lower body. I'm gonna start with a round of the spine. So head and tail curl toward each other and the spine rounds. And then sitting tall, lifting the sternum or the heart center space skyward, maybe even a lift of the chin, extending the spine a little bit. And then rounding the spine, head and tail curl toward each other. And then coming to that tall seat and maybe an extension of the spine. An opportunity to flow between this rounding and extension. Maybe three more times. And here's two. And maybe one more here. And if you're ready, finding some stillness once again. We'll move into the next part of our class, which is our Pilates Principles warm-up section. So I'll invite you to bend your knees and ground your feet on the mat and um, bring the hands behind the legs here. And we'll begin with breath. So if it's accessible today, you might inhale through the nose and then exhale out through the mouth. Like you're maybe blowing out a candle or blowing up a balloon. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Taking as full of breaths as is accessible today. 
And then an invitation to round forehead toward the knees. And sensing into how this compresses the abdomen a little bit. And as you inhale through the nose, feel the rib cage, maybe expand out to side walls of your space. And then exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, feel the rib cage expand laterally out to side walls. And exhaling out through the mouth. Maybe one more breath here, practicing that lateral breathing. And easing out of this, I'll invite you to come down to your backs. Same leg position, knees bent, feet grounded. Maybe bringing hands to hips, um, sensing into the position of the pelvis. We'll rock the pelvis or tilt the pelvis gently here. So lifting low back away from the mat. We are um, finding some space here between the low back and the mat. And then tucking the pelvis under, feeling the low back get closer toward the mat. And inhale and tip the pelvis forward, space between the back and the mat. Exhale, tilt the pelvis back, closing that space between the back and the mat. Inhale, tilt forward. Exhale, tilt back. And then finding a position that feels in between those two, forward and backward tilts. So we're sensing into position of the pelvis here, which is attached to the spine. So our pelvis really informs the position of the low back. That's really what we're getting at here. All right, so here with this neutral pelvis, we're not tilt forward, not tilt back. We're layering on some core muscular engagement. So two parts to your core engagement. The first is a pelvic floor lift. So feel a sense of lifting through the whole base of the pelvic floor. This is holding in number one and number two, right? Like holding in your urine and defecation and lifting all the muscles there in between. And then just softening that and letting that go. Part two of core engagement is our transverse or our deep abdominal engagement. So you might imagine drawing the low belly gently down toward the spine. And then just letting that go. So practicing those two parts. Pelvis is neutral, it's not tilted forward nor tilted back. And we're lifting through the pelvic floor and then also draw the low belly gently downwards. So engagement in those two places and then soften. One more time, inhale, prepare. Exhale, engage the core in two places. This is something that you're, you'll feel more than, uh, you know, I would see or anyone would see if observing you. And then soften that core engagement. We will skip right to neck placement here. We're skipping over rib cage and shoulders for today, but let's take an inhale and gently tuck the chin toward the chest, feeling lengthening in the back of the neck, head stays grounded, and then return the head back to a more neutral neck position. Inhale, tuck chin toward chest, feeling a lengthening in the back of the neck. And exhale and return. Just one more, inhale, chin toward chest. Exhale and return. Let's put those pieces together. Pelvis neutral, core engaged in two places. Inhale, tilt, chin toward chest. Exhale, a float of head and shoulders away from the earth in our ab prep exercise. Our first exercise of our series tonight. Take an inhale breath here, lateral breath. Exhale and soften everything down to the mat. Once again, moving through our checklist of awareness, pelvis neutral, core engaged in two places. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, float head and shoulders away from the earth. Inhale, pause here. And exhale and soften everything down. Let's add on to this. Inhale, chin toward chest. Exhale, float head and shoulders away. We're pulsing. Inhale, go halfway back. Exhale, pulse to the top of our ab prep. Inhale, halfway back. Exhale, pulse to the top. Three more, up to three more this way. Here's three. Inhale, halfway back, pulse up two. Inhale, halfway back, pulse up one. And then softening down. 
you might take a neck release here, just a gentle slow mo look from side to side, like you're shaking your head no. Back to center, four pulses this time. Our checklist once again, pelvis neutral, core engaged in two places, inhale, chin toward chest, exhale, float the head and shoulders up. Inhale, halfway back, exhale, pulse up for four. Halfway back, pulse up for three. Opportunity to tap one or two toes on the mat for more challenge. Maybe one more pulse here for four total. And then easing down to the mat. Working our way backwards, we're down to three pulses. Inhale, tuck the chin gently, exhale, float up. Inhale, halfway back, pulse up three. Opportunity to lift a leg or two to tabletop. Halfway back, pulse up two. Halfway back, pulse up one. And then softening everything down. Option for a neck release, that slow-mo look from side to side anytime you like. We're down to two pulses this time. So when you're ready, inhale, chin tucks. Exhale, lift away in the ab prep. Inhale, pulse back halfway, pulse up two. Last one here, pulse up one. And easing down to mat. One last round, inhale, chin tucks, exhale, float up. Halfway back, pulse up just one time. And then easing down to mat, full body stretch. Hands and feet stretching the opposite walls of your space for a breath or two. Moving into our second exercise of the series, grounding the feet once again, knees bent. This time an invitation to bring the low mat, the low back close to the mat. So imprinting the low back down toward the mat. Engage the core in two places, just the arms first. We'll float the arms up about six inches and then we pulse from the shoulder joint up and down about six inches here, just pulsing from the shoulder, the arms float up and down. Just practicing that a few rounds and then softening the arms down, we're adding the core component. So feeling that low back imprinted, core engaged in two places. Take an inhale, chin toward chest, exhale, float head and shoulders away. And then we pulse the arms, inhaling pulse, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, pulse the arms, three, four, five, and exhale, pulse, three, four, and five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five. Same choices with the legs. You can tap one or two toes on the mat. You can lift a one or two legs to tabletop for added challenge. You're also welcome to drop head and shoulders as you pulse the arms here to support the neck and head. Maybe one more breath here. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, and five. And easing to the mat for maybe a breath or two. Maybe a slow-mo look from side to side to release that neck out. Invitation for one more round with the 100 exercise that we just did. So our checklist, the low back is imprinted, the core is engaged, and we inhale, tuck the chin, exhale, float head and shoulders away, and pulse the arms in two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five, in two. Maybe sensing into the rib cage, expanding out to side walls as you inhale, using lateral breath as we breathe in the 100. Maybe one more breath. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, and five. And then once again, just a big full body stretch here. Hands and feet lengthening out to opposite walls of the space, feeling a little expansion through the front of the abdomen. And an invitation again to bend the knees and bring the feet to the mat. Imprint the hips or low back toward the mat. And we'll bring the fingertips to brush the back of the head. Elbows wide to start. We're moving into our obliques exercise. We're gonna start with the legs this time. 
I'll invite you to bring one leg to tabletop. Knee is stacked over the hip and the shin is parallel to the floor. And then drop that foot down. Just tap the toe on the mat. And then we're switching sides. Opposite leg now lifts up to tabletop. And just tap the toe down on the mat. And then switching sides. You might add a little rhythm to this if you like, but moving at your own pace. Our pelvis is imprinted. Our core is engaged in uh, those two places. We're just resting the upper body on the mat and just marching the legs. One leg lifts and then opposite leg lifts. And let's just ground the feet down and adding the upper body. So take an inhale breath here. And as you exhale, we're going to lift right leg and then take left shoulder toward right leg, left shoulder toward light, right leg, twisting across the body. Then return back to our start. Second side. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Left leg lifts this time. And then right shoulder twists towards left leg. Right shoulder toward left leg. And return. Let's add some breath and rhythm. Rhythm here. Inhale, breath. Exhale, twist first side. <sighs> Inhale, center. Maybe hovering the upper body. Exhale, twist second side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Opportunity to keep the toes tapped on the mat here in between sides or to ground the feet. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Feeling the pelvis and low back imprinted. Feeling the breath as full and even as is possible. Maybe one more round here to each side. Inhale, center, exhale, twisting, and then grounding everything down. Take a breath here, maybe a full body stretch. Hands and feet lengthening the opposite walls for a breath or two. Then an invitation to roll to one side and come up to a seat. We're headed into some seated work. You might extend the legs in front of you. The knees can be bent as much as you like here. Um, we're really looking for a tall spine position. So it's less important that the legs are long and more important that we're feeling long through the spine. Float the arms out about shoulder height. Spine stretch forward is first. Feel the core engaged in two places, a sense of the sit bones of the pelvis sort of drawing in toward each other and a lift through the low belly. Inhale, breath here and exhale. The chin tucks first. We're rolling down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. So it's the neck and then upper back, mid back and low back, we're reaching fingertips toward the wall in front of us as the belly draws towards the wall behind us. Restacking the spine, hips, low back, mid back, upper back, and the head. Let's do that two more times. Feel that core connected, inhale breath here. Exhale, roll down through the spine. Really feel an articulation through the spine as you roll and lengthen the fingertips forward. Exhale all your air out. Inhale, reset the spine, hips, ribs, shoulders, and head. One more spine stretch forward here. Inhale, breath. Lateral breathing here. Exhale, round down. Head, shoulders, mid back low back, then restacking, low back, mid back, shoulders, and head. And invitation to just roll the shoulders while the legs a little bit. Fine twist is next. Arms stretch to a T shape this time. We'll take an inhale breath here. And we'll twist to the right first, twisting to the right, feeling a squeeze through the waist. You might even bring a hand to the side body to feel those muscles engage. And then back to center. Inhale, breath center. 
Exhale, twist to the left, maybe even bringing a hand to the side to feel those muscles working. And then back to center, adding some breath and some rhythm here. Inhale, tall, neutral spine. Exhale, squeeze the waist, twisting right for three. Exhale, twist for two. Exhale, twist and blow all your air out. And then inhale, center. Twisting left, three. Squeeze the waist, two. All your air out, one. Inhaling, center. And twist to the right, three. And two. And one. Inhale, center. Twisting left, three. And two. And one. Inhaling, center. One more. Twisting, three. And two. And one. Inhale, center. Last round, three. Exhale, two. All your air out, one. And back to center. Maybe rolling the shoulders along the legs a little bit. Our last seated exercise here is going to be our half roll back. So bending the knees and grounding the feet to bringing the hands maybe behind the legs for some support. And feet can be as wide or as close together as feels good for you. Finding a tall spine and that core engagement in two places. Inhale here and exhale. We're drawing the tailbone underneath us, rolling halfway back, softening shoulders from here. Just take an inhale breath here and then exhale round forehead toward the knees. Inhale, stack the spine tall. Exhale, halfway back. Opportunity to release one or two hands if you like. Inhale, stay. Or you could lift one or two arms overhead. Exhale, round forehead to knees. Let's do just a couple more of these. Inhale, stack the spine tall. Exhale, core engaged as you roll back. Inhale, stay or float the arms, one or two arms overhead. Exhale, round forehead to knees. One more this way. Inhale, stack tall. Exhale, C curve. And we're pausing halfway back this time, adding a twist. So you might take your right elbow, reach your right elbow toward the back space, and then return back to center. And then left, left elbow might reach toward the back space, and then return. Finding that C curve still engaged through the core. Inhale, twist to right and center. And left, inhale, twisting left and center. Maybe one more. Inhale, right and center. And left, inhale, left and center. Big inhale, breath here. And exhale, round forehead to knees. And making your way just to a comfortable seat. Once again, maybe a little roll of shoulders, wobble the legs. All right, we're heading over to one side. So last week um, I chatted um, a little bit after class about some different options for our sidekick series. So I want to share uh, some uh, some options today. So the the base sidekick series kind of position is lying on one side with the body, um, so sort of the, the torso kind of lined up against the back edge of the mat and your feet against the front edge. You can also bend your bottom knee. And sometimes this can feel really wobbly. So you might roll back. So you're feeling a little, just a little bit of a backward lean to feel a little more balanced on that hip. Another exploration I just want to offer is actually more of an intermediate or advanced sidekick position but it's, a, it's kind of a tabletop or a half tabletop where you stack your knee under your hip and your hand under your shoulder. And this can feel sometimes more balanced than trying to balance on that outer hip. So those are just a couple of ways to explore the same exercises that are coming next. So I'm gonna take um, lying on my side, but you might explore a different option. Front kicks are first, so we're flexing the front foot, core is engaged, and we're pulsing the foot forward for three, two, one, then we point the toe and reach the leg into the back space. Flex the foot, come forward, three, two, one, point the toe, stretch the leg into the back space. Flex the foot, pulse forward for three, two, one, point the toe, reach back. A few more this way, flex and pulse forward, three. Trying to keep the hips stacked, two, 
pulse for one and then stretch back. Inhale, pulse for three. Core engage, two. And one, point the toes, stretch back. Up to five more here, pulsing. Four, three, two, one. Point the toes, stretch back. Pulsing forward for three. Leg is parallel to the floor, two. And one, and exhaling, reaching back. Last three here, pulsing forward. Inhale for three pulses. Exhale and stretch back. Inhale, three, and two, and one, and stretching back. Last one here, forward for three, and two, and one, and then stretching back right into some small circles. We're circling the leg, just a few small circles. Three, two, one, and reversing that circle the other way. Three, and two, and one, and then just soften down. You might bend the knees and maybe even give that outer hip a little rub. Good. And we're just switching over to the other side. So you could just roll onto um, face down and then roll to face the other direction. I'm gonna just push up and switch sides so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So same options. You can lie with your torso against the back edge of the mat, feet against the front edge. Or you could experiment with stacking the knee under the hip and hand under the shoulder in kind of this half table position. And consider taking side kicks or exploring side kicks that way. So same series, front kicks are first. So engaging through the core, that top leg flexes and comes forward for three pulses, two, one, then we point the toe and stretch into the back space. Flex the foot, pulse forward, three, two, one, point the toe and stretch back. And for three, two, one, point the toe, reaching back. So here, working to keep that top leg parallel to the earth as you move. Flexing forward for three, two, one, and reaching back. About five more here. Three, two, one. Working to keep the hips stacked here and the torso stable as your leg moves. One, and reaching back. Maybe three more. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, stretching back. Inhale for three, two, one and reach into the back space. Maybe one last kick here. Three, two, four, one, and reaching back right into some circles. Just small circles here with that top leg. Maybe for three, and two, and one. And reversing the circle, circling the other way. Maybe for three, and two, and one, softening the legs. Maybe a bend of the knees here. Maybe a little rub of that outer hip. And we are ready to move into our last series of exercises that focus on the back, the back side of the body. We'll invite you to roll and face the mat. So your belly is to the mat and you're gazing down at the mat. Draw the legs together here. So feeling the tops of the feet sort of gently anchor down to the mat. Core engaged in two places here. And inhale, lift the chest away from the mat. Exhale, we'll dive the arms forward. So the arms can just hover above the mat or they can be touching down. Inhale, like you're drawing a big set of wings or making a snow angel, the hands sweep down by the sides as you maybe lift the heart away from the mat a little more and then return to your start. Elbows bent, hands grounded, lowering down toward the earth. Let's take that breaststroke exercise again. Core is engaged, legs are drawing together. Inhale, lift the heart away from the mat. Exhale, arms dive forward. Inhale, the hands sweep back. Maybe lift the heart away a little more. And exhale, return to your start. One more that way. 
Inhale, lifting heart away. Exhale, the arms dive forward. Inhale, the arms sweep back. Lift to the heart. And exhale, ground down. So opportunity to continue at that pace or do a few in a row. So inhale, lift the heart away. Exhale, right into a dive. Inhale, sweeping back. Exhale, you could go right back into that dive. Inhale, hands sweep. Exhale and dive. Gaze is toward the mat so the neck feels long and in line with the spine as you move. Maybe sensing into the lateral breath here. A rib cage expanding out to side walls. As you inhale and exhale, lifting and lowering the chest. Maybe one more dive and sweep. And then easing ourselves down. You might choose to layer one hand right on top of the other. Just rest the forehead down for a moment. For a moment of rest between exercises. Our next exercise is a swimmer or an opposition raise. An option to bring some space between the legs. Stretch the arms in front of you a comfortable distance apart, maybe about shoulder width. Sense into that core engagement. And then float right arm and left leg. Right arm and left leg. A sense of float. They might lift away from the mat, they might not. And then easing that down. Second side. Left arm, right leg. Sense of float, or they might lift away from the mat. So a sense of float, left arm, right leg. And then easing down, adding some breath. Inhale, first side, opposition raise. Exhale and release everything to earth. Second side, inhale, opposition raise. Exhale and release down. One more this way. Neck long, gaze at the mat as you inhale and float. Right arm, left leg. Exhale and return. Second side, inhale, float away. Exhale and ease down. You might stay at this pace, or if you'd like to pick up the pace, you could add some quick switches. So you could switch as you inhale for two, three, four, five, and then exhale, switch, three, four, and five, and inhale, switch, three, four, five, and exhale, switch, three, four, and five. A few more breaths, moving at whichever pace you're choosing, or maybe even taking a break here. In two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five. Maybe one more inhale and exhale. And exhale, two, three, four and five and easing on down I invite you to roll right over to your back for a full body stretch here hands and feet just lengthening the opposite walls and maybe hugging knees into the chest knees close together or wide a little rock from side to side finding some stillness. I welcome you to drop the feet to the mat, keeping the knees bent. Ground the arms down by the sides for our hip roll exercise. So we're starting with the pelvis in neutral position and the core engaged. Inhale, breath. Exhale, you'll tuck the pelvis under and then press through the feet, the backs of the arms and palms to slowly roll up through the spine. You might even feel your glutes to start to activate and work here as well. Inhale at the top of this movement, so long line from shoulders to knees. Then exhale, slowly roll down through the spine, allowing this to be really a massage-like quality, just feeling each vertebra of the spine, gently massaging the mat. Inhale at the bottom, core engaged, and then exhale, tuck the pelvis slowly rolling up through the spine. Inhale at the top, 
Long line from shoulders to knees. And exhale, get some ease down, a slow roll down. Here as we move through a few more rounds, inhaling and exhaling, perhaps sensing into some of that lateral breath, the rib cage expanding out to side walls. As you move through maybe one or two more hip rolls here. Inhaling at the bottom. Exhale, slow roll up. Inhale at the top. Maybe some lateral breath here. Exhale, slow roll down. Maybe one last round. Inhale, breath. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale at the top. And exhale, release down. And then a full body stretch. Hands and feet lengthen out. Opposite walls here. This time, option to bring just the right knee in toward the chest. Maybe even angling the knee out toward the side or up toward the shoulder a little bit. We're sensing into an opening through the front of the left hip here for a few breaths in this cool down stretch. So we began our session today talking a little bit about the Pilates principle of breath, how we use breath and the Pilates method to help us find rhythm in our movements, oxygenate the body and brain, and how lateral breath can be a tool for us to breathe deeply even when we're engaging through the abdomen really strongly. Go ahead and switch sides. Big full body stretch here, hands and feet to opposite walls. Then we're hugging in the left leg or opposite leg of what you did last time. So knee towards chest or maybe even angling the knee toward the shoulder. And we're sensing into some opening through the front of the right hip here for a few breaths. So after a little chat about breath, we, we do a little bit of movement to warm up. Some gentle waking up through the spine and the shoulders. And did some awareness exercises to help us focus in on our Pilates alignment principles. And today we focused on, on pelvis, uh, the core engagement, and neck placement really specifically, in addition to breath. Maybe one more breath here, and then a full body stretch, hands and feet lengthening out here. So I invite you to bend your knees and plant your feet on the mat for a figure four stretch, crossing ankle over opposite thigh. You could stay here if this stretch is enough for you, maybe using some muscular action to press the knee away from you. You could draw the legs into the body for an additional stretch here. So after our awareness warm up, we went into a series of exercises where we challenge the muscles of the core in a lot of ways um, while challenging our awareness and our concentration using those principles at the same time. Throughout our practice, um, I tried to remind you of opportunities to sense into that lateral breathing and when we could use it. Maybe another breath or two here. releasing. We're switching right over to the other side. So crossing opposite leg over opposite thigh here. Option to stay here in this figure four stretch, maybe feeling some muscular action, pressing the knee away from us. Or you could draw the legs into the body for some additional stretch. Taking a few breaths here, sensing into the outer hip.
I want to thank you folks for joining me here live or in the recording for this session of introduction to Map Pilates. I appreciate your energy, your efforts, your presence. For being here and trying something a little new, maybe. Or maybe you're here reviewing a foundation of Pilates that you already have. Give me one more breath here. And then uncrossing the legs. It's a full body stretch here. One more big lengthening stretch. You might roll to one side and press yourself up to a comfortable seat. And that concludes, oh, I almost rolled off my exercise ball. <laughs> that concludes our practice this evening.